Hi Mr. Snoot House. This is a rough school. Somebody told me that half the students in this school have a criminal conviction. I don't believe it's that bad. I tried to run a hypothesis test, but I'm having trouble with the conclusion. How can I help Jimmy? Well, I want to test whether the population proportion of students here with a conviction is equal to one half. I got a sample proportion of 0.12, I found a p-value of 0.001, so I know the null hypothesis is false. Now hold on Jimmy. You do not know the null hypothesis is false. You may have simply witnessed a rare event. Okay, so a false null hypothesis is a rare event. No Jimmy, the null hypothesis is often false. But if you get a p-value of 0.001, either you witnessed a rare event, or the null hypothesis is, in fact, untrue. Okay, I think I understand. So I tested whether the population proportion was one half, and got a p-value of 0.001. Did you use a one-sided alternative? Well, okay, sure, I guess. In any event, we have very strong evidence against the null hypothesis. But what does that mean? We can say that there is very strong evidence that the proportion of students in this school with a criminal conviction is, in fact, less than one half. It appears as though your suspicions are correct, Jimmy. Thanks, Mr. S. You are awesome. I have no idea why everybody calls you all those nasty, nasty names.